What's up everybody? Today what I'm going to talk to you about is how I make a trot line. So right here you see me making a trot line and a trot line is actually the way that I love to catch crabs on the Chesapeake Bay. So basically what you're doing is you're putting out a, I'm using a 1200 foot line here which is the max for a recreational crabber and you're putting it out along a drop off with different baits on it. You can see I'm using um, actually clams in those orange bags but also eel on some of these baits too and you just go drive alongside the line and you're scooping these crabs. It can be some of the most fun you've ever had out on the Chesapeake Bay when you're catching crabs this way. I know a lot of people like to use traps or even hand lines and things like that, but I think a trot line is probably one of the most effective and efficient ways to catch crabs out there. So let me go ahead and show you the way that I set up a trot line to be ready for crabbing. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my supplies. I'm using crabbully.com. They have everything you need, whether it be, you know, the snoods, the line itself. They even have their own crab seasoning that they throw in with all the orders, too, which is awesome. Um, it comes with two of some snaps in there that you can attach to each side of the buoy. And then, of course, that crab seasoning. All right, so you have two choices when you're attaching bait to the trot line. You can use kind of a slip knot, like I'm showing you right there. And this is the way that I did it forever. And honestly, it's a pretty easy way to do it. There's less to get snagged on your net while you're netting the crabs, but they can feel more vibration. So I always recommend going with a snood. And so basically the snood just attaches to the line, the crab can pull on it. It's kind of like a shock absorber too. So it's made out of shock cord. Um, these are pre-made from Crab Bully. You can make them yourself, but honestly, I think it's a lot easier just to have them made by someone else um, and cost effective. So I like buying these from Crab Bully. You can see it's got a little piece of fuel hose there. It's kind of like the snubber. And you basically just cinch down the bait in that loop that you see there. And it makes it really easy to get baits on and off of the line quickly. And that's the end that we're gonna attach it to. So to attach it, you're gonna stick it through one of those strands of the soft lay, and you're gonna make this kind of loop and then loop the tag line through. And sometimes you'll end up with the tag line being a little longer like I have there, and you just need to kind of adjust the knot up and down to make it easier. So make sure it's nice and cinched on there. And you can do it twice if you make the snood a little bit longer. You can also knot on the other side. So this is just me going at it and getting this trot line done. So this was actually a 600 foot trot line and I did a bait every about six feet or so. So I had to tie on over about, just about a hundred snood lines or snood droppers onto this line. So for your viewing benefit, of course, I sped this up, but you can see just how long it takes to do this. All right, so that's about it right there. I went through 600 feet with enough snoods that, with all the snoods that I had. And you know, I can't wait to get out this spring and do some more crabbing with my new trot line that I just made there. So in future videos, my plan is to show you how I set out the trot line, all the different weights and things like that that I use so you can follow those same things so you can catch crabs just like I'm doing in this video and you can be more successful and have more fun out on the water. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button so you're notified every single time I put new content out about living by the water and about crabbing on the Chesapeake Bay. Hope to see you on the next video, everybody. Later.